Hi, I'm Rob Kircher and welcome. You know, this is a very momentous day for us today at Better Health and Greater Wealth. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, a lot of you have probably been curious about how this whole kitchen came about. And uh, it was honestly a very long process, probably about a nine month process from the actual designing stage to the infrastructure and then actually everything you see at this point. I'm gonna tell you something, we had some very nice people that helped us by providing some products for us, but it was essentially my wife and I who built maybe about 75, 80% of this, believe it or not. I'm the kind of person that I, I hate waste and everybody laughs at me, but uh, every Friday, the, uh, the garbage collectors come along and I get up early and I kind of beat them to the, uh, to some of these prizes, if you will, because oftentimes people throw away some really wonderful things. As an example, someone threw away these two wonderful yellow chairs, which I absolutely love, and then some other person threw this table away. So we painted the table brown, and I think it just looks great. So it's repurposing you know, people's trash, if you will. And I'm, I'm not uh, embarrassed to say that because I think it's a good thing. In any event, the latest part of our kitchen are these amazing lights that you're seeing over here. And they are LED lights. They're kind of like the mission style. It's a little industrial, but I think it really works well with our kitchen. And this amazing welcoming fan above me because oftentimes it's very humid here in Better Health and Greater Wealth. And this thing is a lifesaver. Now you may notice that we have two here, but there is one missing. And unfortunately, as thing goes, when it arrived, the, the globe actually was broken, so we have a new globe coming, so we will have a sixth light here. So enough of the kitchen, but I gotta tell you something, it's been wonderful, and it's been a labor of love, as I said before, and uh, I wanna thank all you people for uh, sending all these kind remarks about uh, the kitchen, because it really does make us feel good, because like I said, it's a labor of love. Okay, so I wanna get on with today's uh, episode, and I gotta tell you something, we've got two great segments for you. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is a grilled chicken, and we're gonna grill some peaches, we're gonna grill some red onions, and then we're gonna mix it with an arugula salad and put a little bit of balsamic vinegar and extra virgin olive oil on that, and you're gonna love it because you know why? It's a very healthy uh, meal. It could be a, a good lunch or it could be a good dinner. So to begin, let's have some fresh filtered water. And I gotta tell you something, it's a hot, humid day again and there's nothing better than filtered water. So I'm gonna pour one for me and for you, the audience. There you go, fresh filtered water, love it. Okay, as I mentioned, we're gonna be doing a really wonderful uh, meal today. It could be a dinner, it could be a lunch, whatever is good for you. And it really is, it's grilled chicken that we're going to grill along with some peaches and some red onions and then we're going to put it over an arugula salad and not heavy dressing, we're just gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and some balsamic vinegar and you're gonna, I think, love it. So let's go ahead and start preparing. So we're gonna start off with these boneless uh, chicken breasts and we're gonna put these on the grill, which I'm gonna do now, along with the, the red onion. So follow me to the grill. Okay, folks, I think, uh, oh yeah, the red onions look absolutely fantastic. You don't want to overcook these. Uh, just kind of give them a uh, sort of a, a flexible uh, state, if you will. Not translucent, but just, just a little pliable like this. This is perfect. So I'm going to take these, and I'm going to replace these with our peaches in about two seconds here. And uh, we're going to leave our chicken breast on just a little bit longer and I'm gonna put our peaches on here. So now these will not take long, only a minute or so. All I wanna do is just kinda of heat them through a little bit. Okay.
So now we're gonna slice up our chicken. And uh, I don't like them in uh, small pieces. I actually gonna give fairly generous sizes like this. And then this actually gets put on the salad when we're all done. Oh, you know what? I forgot the peaches, hang on. Wow, oh, you know what? They're perfect. You don't wanna overdo these. All we wanna do is actually kinda of warm them and they're perfect now. This is gonna taste so good, you won't believe it. And peaches are in season right now, so this is like a perfect treat. And I always like to get fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. There's nothing like fresh. Okay, we're gonna close the grill and bring these over to the other counter. Okay, I'm gonna set these things here and I'm gonna to continue to slice up our chicken. And I think I'll just do two breasts right now, just enough for you and I. And again, I like a fairly generous portion here. Cut these up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to, here's our arugula salad, and I'm going to put some of our peaches on here. Maybe half of them, something like that. Oh, maybe all of them. I guess, you know what? I like them all. I'm going to move on. Same with our wonderful red onions. Put all of that on. You know what? Sometimes they say half, but you've seen me do this so many times before. I'm going to put all of it on. And uh, now we're also going to put our blue cheese, which I love. Put that in. And you know what? We're going to put just a little bit of olive oil, maybe about two tablespoons. So something about like that. And the balsamic vinegar, where's my balsamic vinegar? About two tablespoons of this, like that. Mix it up, and that's all there is to it. So a very healthy, look at this, a very, very healthy salad. And again, this could be a, a lunch, it could be a dinner, whatever you feel like doing. Okay, so I'm gonna plate these, I'm gonna move this over. And I'm going to plate one for you, the audience. Just take a look at that. A couple more peaches, because I know you love peaches. Everybody loves peaches. Okay, now we're gonna put some of this chicken on here. About like that, you don't mind my fingers, do you? And maybe one more. Okay, and this is for you, the audience, and also your filtered water and I'm gonna do a plate for me the same way. So we're just gonna add a fairly generous amount of this salad, which is absolutely fantastic right now. Oh, look at that. And I gotta tell you, the, uh, the chicken is perfectly done. I'm gonna use my fingers again, but I think, you know what, I'll put it all in. Okay, now let's give it a try and see what we think. I'm gonna start with the sale. I know what chicken tastes like, but this I can't wait to taste. Mmm. Mmm. Folks, I don't know what it is, but when you put the olive oil, the balsamic vinegar on peaches, it gives it just this amazing, amazing taste. So for the recipe, and for more information about today's episode and about our kitchen, go to my website, www.betterhealthgreaterwealth.tv. And you know what? I'll see you in a little bit. We're going to have a break, and I'll come right back. Bye-bye. Here's another one of Rob's food facts, and you're going to love this one because I do. Did you know that a medium-sized potato contains only about 110 calories and about three grams of fiber, so it's very, very good for you? Plus, it had a bunch of vitamins in it. So guess what? Skip the butter, skip the sour cream, and you're gonna have a health-friendly potato. See you after the break.